In this video, we're going to learn two ways to create a transparent effect in Photoshop. The first method uses a combination of the screen blend mode and levels adjustment, which works best for making any object transparent. For this example, the object will be half of an orange image. The second method involves tweaking the layer mask of an image, ideal for creating a transparent water splash. But before we continue, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated with more tutorials on this channel. It's free. All right, let's get started. First, create a new document with a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Set the resolution to either 150 or 300 pixels per inch and use the RGB color mode. Name the document, then click Create. Next, drag in the background image of your choice and adjust its size as needed. Delete the white background layer as it's not required. If necessary, rename the background layer. Then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the radius between 25 and 35. Click OK. Now, go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and select Darker for the preset. A darker background will help the main object stand out. Adjust the channel settings. In this example, I switch to the green channel and slightly increase the mid-tone slider, making the image greener. Adjust the level settings until you achieve a background color that complements your main object. Next, drag the orange image onto the canvas and adjust its size. Duplicate the orange layer by pressing Ctrl-J on PC or Command-J on Mac. Rename the duplicate layer as Orange Transparent, then rasterize it. Go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, change the blend mode to Screen, and convert it to a smart object. Go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and adjust the input levels gauges. Make the original orange layer invisible. Open the levels adjustment again. Set the shadows to 125, the midpoint to 1.70, and the highlights to 135. Drag an orange slice image onto the canvas. If the image has a background, remove it using a layer mask. Double click the layer mask, click Select Subject, and confirm your selection. Apply the layer mask, then press Ctrl-T or Command-T to adjust the size and position so it aligns with the main orange image. Move this layer beneath the orange transparent layer. To align the slice perfectly, press Ctrl-T or Command-T again. Hold Alt-Shift or Option-Shift to stretch both the top and bottom parts simultaneously. Make sure the left and right edges align perfectly with the main orange image. Now, add a layer mask to the orange transparent layer. Select the layer mask, hold Ctrl or Command, and click the orange slice layer icon to create a selection. Then go to Select, Inverse. Set the foreground color to black. Activate the hard round brush with 100% opacity and flow and brush the bottom part of the orange. Make sure you're brushing on the layer mask. Next, make the original orange layer visible again and add a layer mask. Hold Ctrl or Command and click the orange slice layer icon again to make a selection. Select the layer mask, go to Select, Inverse, and brush the top part of the orange to make it invisible, leaving the leaf visible. Finally, hold Control or Command and click both the original orange and the slice layers. Press Control. Alt-E on PC or Command-Option-E on Mac to create a new composite layer, then rename it Halved Orange. 
For the water splash, drag the water splash image onto the canvas. Confirm the placement, then move the layer to the top. With the splash layer selected, press Ctrl A or Command A to select all, then Ctrl C or Command C to copy it. Add a white solid color adjustment layer to the top. Hold Alt or Option and click the layer mask. Paste the copied splash by pressing Ctrl V or Command V. Invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl I on PC or Command I on Mac. Make the original splash layer invisible. With the layer mask still selected, brush away any leftover splash background pixels. Convert this layer to a smart object, then delete the original splash layer. Add a layer mask to the transparent splash layer. Press Ctrl T or Command T and adjust its size and position as needed. Now, select the layer mask, make sure the foreground color is black, and use the hard round brush with 100% opacity and flow. Hold Ctrl or Command, and click the halved orange layer icon to create a selection. Brush away the splash parts around the halved orange you want to remove. Then, hold Ctrl or Command and click the orange transparent layer icon to make another selection and brush away the splash parts around it. When done, press Ctrl D or Command D to deselect. Rename the splash layer to Splash 1 and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or Command J. Rename the duplicate as Splash 2. Invert the Splash 2 layer mask by pressing Ctrl I or Command I. Move the Splash 2 layer beneath the orange transparent layer. With its layer mask selected, hold Ctrl or Command and click the halved orange layer icon. Using the hard round brush with black as the foreground color, brush away the splash parts around the halved orange that you want to remove. Press Ctrl D or Command D to deselect, and that's it. Those are the two methods to create a transparent effect in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.